Question number two says that you have to use uh, the given table for x and y to answer the questions given in question number one. So part A says that what is the x values or value when y is equal to one? So we look in this table for y is equal to one. So how many y one we have? Y is one here and y is one here. So what is the x value for one? Now we look for the x values corresponding to y1 so x is minus 1 so we have x is equal to minus 1 for which y is 1 and we have x is equal to 4 for which we have y is equal to 1 so that is the answer to part a part b says that what are the x values when x y is equal to 3 now we move on to y is equal to 3 we look for y is equal to 3 we don't have any y that is equal to 3 in this table. That means we don't have any value of x. No x value. Okay. The part C says that for what values of y is x3. Now we look for x values where we have x equals to 3. So in the line we have x equals to 3 here. And that's the only x that we have. So corresponding to this x, what is the y value from the table? The y value is minus 1. So that means y is equal to minus 1 when x is equal to 3. Now next says that y should be less than or equal to 0. What are the x values? So we look for y which is either 0 or negative. So how many y's do we have? We have a 0 here. We have minus 1 here. We have minus 2 here. They, all the three are either less than 0 or equals to 0. So what are the x values corresponding to these y values? So we have x is equals to 0. We have x is equals to 3. And we have x is equals to 5. So these are the three values for which y is either less than 0 or equals to 0. In part E, what are the maximum value of y? So y maximum, we look for y. What is the biggest value of y in this whole table? 5, 1, minus 2, 7, minus 1, 1, 0, and 9. And 9 is the biggest value. And what is the x value at which y is 9? That is 6. What is the y minimum or the smallest value of y? If you look at the values, minus 2 is the smallest value, and this value is at x is equal to 2. So if you look at the corresponding x, that is 0, so that is all at x is equal to 0.